Join Chewie and I as we learn about Star Wars 5th Edition. Tonight, I'm continuing looking at the deployments in Starship of the Galaxy, and I'm taking a look at the last one called Technician. Now, I gotta admit, the first time I took a look at the name of this one, I was a little confused. We already have a deployment for mechanic. What is there a technician gonna be handling? But where the mechanic largely focuses on the power and using tech dice, the technician is actually very focused on shields and damage reduction. Like all the deployments, you get a venture and then you get two special abilities to start off with. On this deployment, those are called stratagems. Every single one of these stratagems is using the shield station. In some way, either trying to use the shields to deflect damage or to regenerate the shields in some way. You're trying to keep your ship up and running. That's the goal. In that vein, angle deflector shields is a stratagem that allows you to really reduce the amount of damage you're taking to the shields, forcing you to not have to regenerate quite as much. Another one that sounds kind of fun is the bring them back up. Obviously, at some point, your shields are going to get to zero. This seems like a really good way to get a really good boost to get yourself as far back up as possible from those depleted shields. If you plan on using your technician to be doing the regenerate shields action, the I need more power stratagem is actually a good one to add on because it'll make that particular action even stronger every time you do it. So when you're starting to think about how am I going to use the technician, start thinking about how, what actions you might take in each turn. Regenerate Shields is a good one for this particular deployment to take because they get bonuses to it and they have stratagems like this to help do it better. Something else that this deployment gets at second rank is called Quick Regen. So I talked about how you could take an action to regenerate shields. Another action you can do is to boost shields. So this is in a place where the technician can have another action they could take and get a benefit when doing that particular action. Now, because of the special abilities that you can get on this, I think that this particular deployment will probably focus on two main actions on their turn. One is the boost shields I mentioned. Boost shields allows you to get some temporary shield hit points really quickly without using up any power. This is a great way for you to be able to keep yourself in the fight a little bit longer. The other action that I mentioned was regenerate shields. So this is when you've already taken damage to your shields and you want to try to get a little bit of power back into them. This one does spend power dice, but is extremely helpful once you've started taking damage to your shields to make sure it doesn't get through to the hull. As this particular deployment levels up, there's a lot of power that comes in, a lot of capability to bring shields back, to prevent damage. There's a lot of abilities that are going to be based on the ship's intelligence capability and constitution and strength. So depending on what type of ship you have, there's all kinds of different ways that this deployment can help out. Now, when we look at filling in different roles, yes, you do want to be able to have someone who's good at regenerating shields, but it's probably not one of the first roles that you're going to try to fill out on a ship. It's a good supporting role when you have a larger crew and if you can get somebody who's really good at this and focused on this you're going to be able to stay in a fight a lot longer 